What's up everybody, Dazed here, back with another Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 video, and today I am bringing you more DLC 14 content, and we're going to show you how to unlock all the Ultra Instinct, Sign Goku, Super Attacks. This is going to be Ultrasonic Blitz, Spirit Pulse, and Celestial Wave, along with a couple Super Souls, so make sure you stick around to the end. Now, first thing we got to do is we got to look at Parallel Quest number 151, because this is where we get these. And you're going to see the win conditions right here. Clear in under 7 minutes to trigger that ultimate finish. Then defeat Oshe Omega Shenron and the others. And then we're going to be able to have a chance to unlock these moves. Do make sure you stick around to the end. Because after I show you how to get through this parallel quest in the easiest way possible. We will be going over all of the new Ultra Instinct skills. We're going to test them out. And I'm going to let you know what I think about them. So do make sure you stick around to the end. Now the first thing about this parallel quest you're going to want to take some strong characters with you. I take my other level 99s with me to make things a little bit easier. If you don't have them, um, take some of your favorite characters, some of your favorite cast characters with you. Now, right off the bat, we're fighting the new Broly. Um, and this can be a little annoying because he, he does a lot of grab spamming. Get his energy level down a little bit. As you can see, I'm kind of fast forwarding through this. And you will trigger a few to talk. And then he will bring out Janemba and Omega Shenron. So now you got to deal with all three. But you want to stick to Broly. Because if you get Broly's health down, he goes away. And that's what you want to do. You want to get him out of the way so there's only two of them left. Um, that right there triggers an event where it's going to change Goku from Super Saiyan Blue to the... Uh, Ultra Instinct sign, and then he's going to come back and help you out after a second. As you can see right here, he's getting back up. Now he's back into the fight. And then now we're going to take the time. We're going to finish off Broly, which is going to trigger for you to talk again. And he is going to go ahead and get rid of Broly for you. And that's why I say you need to go for him first and just get him out of the way. And then you have your time to just focus on Janemba and Omega Shenron. But it's not over quite yet as far as those characters are concerned because about everything you're doing right there was pointless because they're going to get corrupted and then they're going to be even stronger and their health is going to go back up. As far as I remember, their health went all the way back up after that. So now you're going to take the time, you know, sit back, key blast if you want to. I like to charge up and just Emperor's Death Beam them because uh, the computer AI seems to like attack a lot more now than they used to and knock people out of your combos. So sitting back and blasting may be the best idea. Once you finish them off, you're going to trigger the ultimate finish event and you know, take this time to charge up just like I did right there. Heal yourself if you need to. And now Fuse is going to come out and you're going to have to fight him also. Um, get him down as quick as you can, as fast as you can, because as you can see, Janemba and Omega Shenron are going to come back and really few is just there for a little bit once you get his health down so far he's gonna say he doesn't want to be involved in this and he's gonna try and leave and now you're only left with those two and that's gonna make things a lot easier so at first you get rid of broly as quick as you can then you get rid of few as quick as you can and then you only have two people to deal with and take the time to finish them off like i said maybe sit back key blast spam them a little bit just to get them gone because you're just trying to get through this and trying to get those new skills unlocked. Now, one problem I've seen with a lot of these uh, DLC quests so far, these DLC 14 quests, is we don't get any notification like you got skill or you got an item. So you never know when these skills are going to drop, so you have to complete it. As you can see, I did get one, one Super Soul and I got two of the Super Attacks right here. And then I did it one more time, I got both the Super Souls. And then I got the last one, Celestial Wave, which is the evasive skill. So now let's take a look at them. And first, we're going to look at Spirit Pulse. Um, this is the Master or the uh, Ultra Instinct Sign Goku's attack. And to me, um, not the best one, especially power wise. The damage it is putting off is not a lot. This is my balanced character. As you can see, it's only doing 1,700, but even on Ultra Instinct Sign Goku, it's only doing like 2,200 damage. It is very usable in combos, though. It doesn't have a lot of range, but in any of the any kind of combos, you should be able to hit it with a knockaway. So if you're looking for something just to have for like a stylish preset, definitely use it, but just be aware, not a whole lot of damage off of it. 
which to me brings it down in rank a little bit. I would like to see a little bit more damage, but it is what it is. Now we're going to check out Ultrasonic Blitz, which is a pretty cool move. It's a counterattack. Goku really wasn't cooperating with me right here. And that's straight out of the anime. It looks pretty cool. As you can see, it did it off that solar flare, which I thought was awesome. I wasn't really expecting that. It looks good. It does decent enough damage. You know, it's not the most damage in the world. But, you know, it looks really cool. So, definitely something that you may want to put on your character. I, for one, I do like it. But I tend not to use counterattacks that much anymore. If I did PvP, I would use more counterattacks. I don't necessarily know if I would use this one or not. So, that's really up to you. It does work against them strike supers, though. So, keep that in mind. Definitely something decent. Now we have the last thing, which is the evasive celestial wave. You know, if you do it, it's going to cancel out that key blast like you just saw right there. And if you're not doing it, you know, against a key blast and they're just attacking you, it's going to knock them up in the air. Unfortunately, there is no combo ability with this as far as being able to, like, step dash to them or um, anything like that. So... You know, it is what it is. The one drawback I do see to this, you know, it doesn't do a lot of damage, which I don't think evasive should anyway. It is a three bar evasive, which kind of sucks considering how many they have made two bars in this game. So I think overall, the, the Ultra Instinct Sign Goku moves, they do look really good. Um, not a lot of power with them, not a lot of damage. Um, but they look very stylish, so if that's what you're into, if you just want cool-looking moves, definitely something to consider using. I'm going to show you one more time the, the win conditions for this parallel quest. And uh, let me know what you guys think down below about these new moves, and that will wrap this video up. If you do like the content I'm putting out, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.